Hello! My name is Joe, and welcome to my channel. Um, if you are new here, please click subscribe to the now 14 subscribers. Thank you so much. Gives me warm fuzzy feelings on the inside, so if anybody new wants to give me warm fuzzy feelings on the inside too, click the button that says subscribe, and I'll be a happy camper. Happy camper. I can't, I can never say that. Anyway, I have decided that Tuesdays are going to be my upload days. Um, I'm off to a bad start because I got distracted by the app called TikTok. If anybody wants to follow me over there, it's at half Asian invasion. Nobody get mad at me. I'm half Japanese. Mr. Miyagi, come on. Um, so yeah, I had this whole story time planned out of, uh, my failed engagement and how happy I am that it failed, uh, cause it was a pretty poopy situation, not gonna lie. Um, but it's okay because I'm in a much better situation now, um, with my, actually, okay, so it's gonna be a story time of how. I started to date my, at the time, best friend of nine years. Cue the aww. It's, we're, we're adorable. We're adorkable. Uh, so today, instead, I have a quick little story time of how I got deflowered by a fence. <laughs> um, it's pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's probably not what you're thinking. <laughs> Um, but before we get into it, I'm going to read a quick little article, article from youngwomenshealth.org. I will link it below if anybody wants to read it once I figure out how, because I'm technologically challenged. Um, plus, I have a waterfall Sailor Moon case. Come on, guys. Come on. Who doesn't love that? If you don't love that, I don't want to know you. All right, this article is called, What Can Make the Hymen Break? I've heard that you can break your hymen by riding a horse, oh Jesus, or doing the splits. Is this true? If not, why? And what can make a hymen break? Uh, so the hymen is a thin membrane that surrounds the opening of the vagina. Hymens can come in different shapes. The most common hymen shape is a half moon. See the normal hy hymen diagram below. I don't need to see the diagram, it doesn't matter. Um, this, shape's, this shape allows menstrual stuff to flow out. All girls are born with a hymen and some girls are born with extra hymen tissue. Did not know that. Um, although horseback riding involves moving up and down and doing splits puts pressure on your groin area, these activities do not change the hymen shape. Uh, the only exceptions are in some injuries, such as falling on a sharp object in a pool, bathtub, or water slide, or a water skiing accident. Jesus Christ. Just the thought of, like, that water rushing up. I'm not, nope. I'll take the fence any day. If you hear anything, my dog is rooting around like a bloody pig looking for, for truffles. I don't know. It's 2.30 in the morning and he wants, he wants to go on an adventure. Anyway. Um, it just says more about tampons can be inserted through the opening of the hymen without changing the hymen as well. Sexual intercourse may stretch the hymen to make larger opening um, or it may cause a tiny tear or change in the shape of the hymen. Sometimes this is called breaking the hymen, but it doesn't really break. It just stretches sometimes can cause some bleeding. Um, unfortunately, I'm not the only girl that I know that has a story like this. Um, I know my older sister and her best friend, um, and I don't know if her sister also did this, um, but they had an incident with the balancing beam in gymnastics as children. So I was very careful not to do that in gymnastics. Because that looked painful AF. And let me tell you, 
we had to make fun of the girl sitting there with an ice pack on her crotch. We were like seven. Come on. It was funny. Um, but around three years later, so when I was around 10 ish, um, grade four, thereabouts, um, is my camera shaking? Hold on. All right. Sorry. So, um, when I was around the age of 10, I went to my friend's birthday party. I'm not going to say my friend's name in this video, although I haven't talked to her in like over 15 years. Doesn't matter. Um, we decide we want to go running on shenanigans because we ran out of things to do in the house. Um, so that's what we do. We go running through people's backyards because of why the hell not. And as we're running through people's backyards and being deviant, we come into a backyard where there's a huge ass Rottweiler. Now, I don't think this Rottweiler was like violent in any sort of way, maybe a little bit aggressive, maybe because it was a group of 10 year olds jumping into his yard. I don't know. It was definitely us jumping into his yard. It was our fault. So, oh, speaking of aggressive animals, here's Elvis, come here. Hold on, I'm gonna get him up here. All right, we are now joined by an Elvis Dumbledore. Um, so yes, we jumped into this backyard with this Rottweiler in it, and he was startled that, you know, a group of around 10, 10 year olds jumping into his backyard. So he starts barking and running at us as expected. And um, all of my friends jump over the fence. Everybody's good. Now, I don't know if you guys remember uh, these specific sandals called riders that were very popular when we were younger, when I was younger. I'm turning 30 this week, so when I was younger. Um, very stylish, not good for running away from dogs. So everybody jumps this over this fence, and and before anybody gets too graphic or anything, it wasn't like one of those like pointy fences. It was just regular fence, okay. I was always a fatter child, I'm not gonna lie to you. So my porky ass tried to jump the fence too, but my sandal got stuck in between the slats of wood and um, this dog started to run at me and I started to freak out. So my friend from the other side of the fence shoves her hand into my sandal so my foot flies out. Unfortunately for me, I'm full straddle the fence at this point in time. Yes, you can guess what happened. And I can imagine that if I were a dude, this would be a thousand times more painful. But let me tell you, for a 10 year old girl, being boxed so hard that I couldn't walk after was the greatest pain I had felt at that point in my young life. <sighs> so that's the story of how I got deflowered by a fence. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, I did get some comments in my last video. Um, not in the video, but from some people in my life um, about filming in the portrait. So now we're filming in the landscape. Um, I hear ya. Let me know if there's anything else that you think I should change about things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this story. It's embarrassing AF, but I figured I had to give you guys something. And I really wanted to, to stick to my Tuesday thing, even though it's technically Wednesday. Right. So I probably will try and film that longer story tomorrow or the next day. I will talk to you guys soon and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.